Well, we all know that toddlers can be tearaways when they're out and about, but would you ever use a harness on your child? Some parents think it's demeaning, others swear by a harness or some sort of restraint, and family counsellor and therapist Karen Phillips is here to talk more about them. Morning to you, Karen. Good morning. Uh, they are, uh, 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 I guess, contentious, aren't they? Some people think they're cruel, others find them incredibly helpful. What are your thoughts? Well, it depends on the child and, of course, the parent. But if you've got a child that, uh, a two or three year old, that runs away, that you may lose in a shopping centre or even a car park, then I recommend to use them for a short time until the child learns and understands that they need to stay near mum. So when you recommend uh, parents using harnesses, what is often the reaction? It's not that I sort of recommend it. What I do is, is I respond to parents that ask me, what should I do? And if they've got a child, as I just described, I suggest that perhaps they try mm. a what I call a safety device or a, uh, or a restraint. When, if a child is in a stroller, they're in a restraint. In a car seat, they're in a restraint. So it's not like we, we never restrain our child or you know, lock a front door or lock a pool gate to contain them. And a child restraint is exactly that. I mean, I was at a shopping centre when my child was young and I, the mum was pushing a stroller, had a four-year-old. The little three-year-old was a very active little boy. She was yelling to stop, stop. He didn't take any notice, ran to the escalator, rolled down the escalator, mm. lacerations, broken arm. Had that child been on some sort of restraint or child safety restraint, it wouldn't have happened. Why then do you think they attract such criticism? A lot of people call them harnesses and, and leashes and people automatically think of an animal. I'm not going to treat my child like a dog. I'm not going to tie my child up. But the fact is that people put their, their puppies on a leash to keep them close, to protect them from running away or getting lost. Now, while our children, of course, are nothing like an, an animal or, or our pet, we need to do whatever we can as a parent to protect our children. Mm. And if that means to wear for a short time a small safety device, then I'm all for that, to protect our kids. I must say, when I had little ones, yeah. I, whenever I saw people with them, I always used to think that just looks like a dog yes. on a leash. Yeah. And you get that in your head mm. and you can't get around it. But of my three children, one of our kids was only recently got road sense. And you know, he's now a teenager. <laughs> and, but I mean, he was just oh, wow. off with the fairies when mm. it came to, to being around the road. There was a couple of times we almost lost him <gasps> because he just walked out in front of cars. And they do. And if I'd, if I'd sort of got that silly idea out of my mind that, you know, it's, it's politically incorrect to do it, mm. you know, I wouldn't have had to go through the angst. The good yeah. thing is now you can get ones, I know for, for my children, there are ones that um, almost look like a, a sweet little animal yes. backpack. That yeah. Furry and it almost, it's like the tail of the yeah. animal that you can hold on to. I know I tried with mine and she wasn't interested. I, it, it was a short-lived exercise. <laughs> My son, I didn't need one. But um, no, and a lot for of parents children out there don't. who perhaps do have a, a child who is very active and inquisitive and a bit of a tear away, yeah. you should, you, your advice is? Use them. Use mm. them if it's going to protect your child and keep them safe. Save a lot of arguments as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, and the fear, any parent that has experienced their child in a shopping centre when they've turned around and they're gone. Oh, awful feeling. I mean, it Nothing is worse. the worst feeling. Mm. And thank goodness we haven't experienced what uh, the parents of young James Bolger experienced when mum was in the butchers, mm -hmm. he went outside the store, and then we have that vision of him being walked out by those two 10 year old boys that tortured mm. and murdered him. That's all it took. Mm. Okay, mm. Karen. Thanks, Karen. Great advice. Thank Pleasure. you very much.